Okay, let's uh, welcome to Operation Pixel. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play it SWAT Cats. That is the game that he has inserted into the SNES. Bingo! <laughs> is that something that said a lot in the show? Okay, so I can do T-Bone or Razor. Oh, you gotta be T-Bone. Yeah. He looks way cooler. He's like a big, he's like a big buff Tomcat. He's like, a, he's like a skinny, like agile, like Bobcat. Oh, okay, I get you. I never saw the show, so you're gonna have to tell me all about it. I, like, I watched it on Hanna Hanna Barbera. Yeah. And like, uh, Boomerang. <laughs> mm-hmm. This was like their version of TMNT. Sure. Yeah, I just mean like, uh, you remember that episode we did of Bionicle where I was like, oh yeah, man, Bionicle this, Bionicle that. I didn't that. watch it that much. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, I watched it when it was on. <clears throat> sure. But I remember it being like badass. But you enjoyed it when it was on. I remember it being awesome because they were like, cool. they were two cats. Dr. Viper. They, they were two anthropomorphic cats who pretended to be garage mechanics mm -hmm. who secretly were vigilantes fighting a in a uh, like an F-16. Oh, you've got a time limit, so make sure you don't screw around too much. Okay. Can't double jump or anything? Not that I can get yet. <laughs> it's better not be like Batman. Chili Peppers. This will be nothing but like Batman. We, we just, I'm already further than Batman. Yeah, we just finished playing Batman Forever for SNES. Um, and in case anyone's curious, I'll probably I'll probably put some kind of text up in the video that mentions the fact that I was incorrect. Was. Uh, no, because I spent the entire video saying I gotta that I played somehow. it. I played Whoa. it on Game Boy, but I played it on uh, Genesis as we realized after the show. Oh, so I'll probably put a disclaimer about that for anyone who's curious. But in case anyone's watching this, I don't know. I played it for for Genesis. That's why I remembered it. Anyways. It was like the weird explosions when they die. It's um, guys. I, I don't think I'm, uh, like... Did I make it just in time? Uh, I don't think so. You've got a lot of time. You've got, like, nine minutes. Rawr. Now I did. I think I, I, I thought I reached, like, zero, zero, zero. Oh, no, it does not go down that quickly. If... <laughs> What was if it been... when you what was it when you looked at it? Uh I don't know. Not not low. The thing is that I was looking up there like as soon as you started the stage and I said, "Ah, shoot, man, like you got a time limit." Like if if you ran out of time, right? That basically be an episode. <laughs> yeah. So Oh, okay. I was like that'd be a good timer. Uh and I'm guessing maybe it resets every time you get to the next stage of a level just encouraging you not to spend too much time screwing around. So I don't remember much of this series. All I remember was it being... Whoa! <laughs> Badass. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's your health bar up there. Yeah. You do not have a lot of health. Why can't I jump on him now? I don't know, man. Fall off a cliff. But you can do a cool punch. It's, it's my little, like, hand rocket. Mm-hmm. So these guys just—he's just got, just got iron gauntlets that can climb around on buildings. buildings and stuff. No, they fly a jet fighter. Not as far as I can tell. Yeah, that's that's what I was. Whoa, <laughs> that's what I was hoping. Like it would be like Star Fox. Oh wow, this is getting kind of uh, risky. Oh my god, is that what the, the hell is that? <laughs> is that the body weapon? Uh, is he got little spawns of the body weapon? Is that what these things are? I'm pretty sure they're, uh, like, a, one of the villains from the episodes. Probably. I don't think I watched enough of it to know what it was. But seriously, like, we just got here. And both of us are like, holy crap, what is that thing? Ow. That's actually pretty cool, though. Good use of the uh, SNES to sort of, like, make the background and the level interesting. That's one thing the SNES always did good. Well, it depends on the game. True. More than the system. True. But, uh, yeah, it was a good use of the SNES uh, technology. Next. Wait. <laughs> oh, hey, it's my buddy. Cool. We meet up. Now you guys can both go swat some cats. Oh, here we go. Oh, here's what you were talking about. Oh, is this going to turn into... Uh, what was the other game we uh, played that was kind of like this? Uh, Star, uh, Captain Starhawk. Sky, Star Skyhawk. Sky yeah. Am I, I'm not hitting it. Dude, it's just a mouth with wings. I'm not sure if you're gonna hit him yet. This might be mostly about targeting the little guys. They're mouths with wings. They're disturbing. <laughs> I just flying straight. Oh, they are. They like got lips too. Yeah. Like gross oh, I'm lips. Dead. Oh. Rawr. 
Okay, so I can only go left and right? Yeah. Oh, okay, you can't move around the screen at all. No, it's automatic. Got it. Yeah, so I guess you mostly just need to be careful you don't get shot down. Oh, I just gotta nice. time it. Okay. That makes it a little bit easier. It'll... See, it'll uh, get a little uh -huh. red. Uh-huh. Nice saw it. I just gotta shoot it when it's doing that, I think. Maybe. Maybe. A couple of those guys missed anyways, but I know. <clears throat> I don't like that guy. You'll just button mash. Yeah, that seems to work well enough. As long as you don't get hit. Doing okay. Doing okay. You're almost at the big blue. Oh, shit! Did you get shot down? I did! Oh, man. I missed it. I thought you were doing good. I thought I was, too. I think one hit and I'd take it. Yeah, I mean, you are in an airplane. Most airplanes aren't known for taking hits well. Yeah, I guess. I guess they all shoot. All, all the buttons. We'll just spam every single button in one yeah, shot. Yeah, man. Let those mouths have it. Just cram it right in there. Take your medicine! <laughs> I'm not paying attention because they move so freaking slow. I know. You know, it's, it's a funny thing I've noticed this about some games. <clears throat> Not all games, but some games. Um, like, it was like this on Super Smash Bros., I think, at one point. Is I noticed that, like, it was harder to play in slow-mo than it was in high speed. Because in, like, high speed, you know the speed of all the moves. But when everything gets slow, like, your dodge timing is off, your block timing is off. Like, you know, like, your judgment is just, like... You'd think it'd be easier, but it's harder. Yeah. And I don't think it was Super Smash Bros. I don't know. Maybe it was, like, Tetris or something. I don't know. No, Tetris would Tetris, be always be Tetris easy. is easy when it's slower. But there was some game I was playing where I noticed that, and I was like, huh. How weird that it's easier to play when it's faster. Like, now that it's slower, this is harder. <laughs> it might be like, um... <clears throat> it could have even been like one of those like gambling types of some mini-games or something like that. You know, where you get like the timing down. Yeah. But like, you're really used to like... Like, you're really good when you're at like level 5 speed. Uh, but you have to go through, like, the first four levels to get there. God, am I just barrel rolling into his gullet? I guess so. Oh, there's am a lot I, of crap flying around now. Yet? Watch out. Do I kill him yet? Oh, no. You're he, flying into him. He eat me? Oh, here we go. <laughs> okay. I mean, the one-shot death thing is, is pretty un uncool. But, uh... Like, these flying segments are pretty rad. Yeah, this is what I thought. Whoa! I mean, the platforming was basically platforming. Yeah, getting, getting shot down in one shot is the, kind of... The most basic platforming. Not the ideal. But but this part of the game is really cool. That's like platforming 101. Like, this almost reminds me... Tacked on. Almost reminds me a little bit of Battle Clash. Slightly. Battle Clash had the light gun, though. Imagine oh, yeah. this with a light gun. <laughs> with, the, with the super scope. Oh, yeah, this would be pretty rad. You know what else would be rad is if they'd done a game like this? Because I feel like <clears throat> there was definitely some potential for that with stuff like... Uh, I bet the middle's going to open up. Yeah, almost definitely. It'd be depressing it looks, if it, it didn't. It looks like a big butthole. Mm -hmm. But, um... Open up, butthole. You know, Mario Safari almost did it and then decided... Oh, it's shooting little eyes at me. It's <laughs> cute. It's an eye shooting eyes? Yeah. I guess before it was a mouth firing mouths. Yeah, I guess. Sort of. Uh, unless those are just bad guys that were just like, Ah, don't shoot him! Yeah, I don't know. We love you. But Mario Safari had that thing, right, where you could play co-op mode? Yoshi Safari. Yoshi Safari. And, um, you know, I played as Yoshi, but, like, there was literally nothing I could do to, like, actually help play the game. I think I'm doing something, because he's, like, spitting faster. But I feel like something like this could have been super rad, right? If, like, say I was piloting the ship and you were firing the guns. Yeah. Like, that kind of co-op would have been really sick. Something like the, um... Oh, I, kill, I killed the butthole. They sort of had that with Star Fox Zero, I guess, and everybody hated that one. That's true. <laughs> Though that, again, wasn't like a super scope. Uh. And I think... <laughs> I think maybe the reason that game got poor reviews is because people weren't playing it co-op. Maybe. I thought it went alright when we played it co-op. And it was okay. Yeah. It was basically a clone of Star Fox 64, though. Mm-hmm. Like, it wasn't outstanding, but I wouldn't have complained about it, really. But we played it co-op. 
I can imagine if you played that single player, you'd have been like, screw this crap. I played through it entirely on single player, actually. Oh, okay. I just know a lot of oh, people shit. complained about it, I think, because the, um, the controls were kind of, like, hard to do as, like, a single player, because you had to, like, move the camera and fly the ship, and it was kind of a lot to keep track of. Yeah. It was, it was a little difficult. It wasn't easy. Mm-hmm. Then again, why am I going backwards? Also, you died. Um. Watch this, watch. Well, hi. Now I'm going forwards. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. You've always been heading to the right. I'm not moving. Oh. I'm not touching the control stick when I did that. Hmm. Maybe your SNES controller is kind of sticked? I think it's the rain. Oh, maybe. Maybe you're, like, sliding? Oh, yep, you're sliding. Okay, that was that. Okay. The rain makes it slippery. I got, I got, I leveled up something. Uh, can't you just climb up there? Maybe? I don't know. Doesn't matter now. Oh, that did squat. Oh, he's dead, oh, though. Oh, but you obliterated that guy. Eh. Okay. I actually missed who it said the villain of this next stage was. They didn't. There's gotta be another stage, though. Yeah, this is another stage, but it didn't say the villain. It didn't say the villain? No. I guess last time, like, it showed, like, some lizard person and you fought that big blob thing uh, instead. Why didn't I obliterate that, either? Maybe this is the same, uh, boss guy. I don't think so. Well, like, like, you know, it's probably, like, a bad guy and that was, like, his way to destroy the town last time. But I killed him. Clearly not. Haha. -ha. Clearly so. But there's still little blue guys running around. Those are just generic enemies. It's like Goomba. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like the main villain here has, has yet to show himself. So when they're hazy, they're invisible. Yep. Lamp cake. It's kind of reminds me of Metroid. Those guys just crawling along the ceiling and stuff. No! How far did you ever get in Metroid? Um... Which one? I beat the Game Boy one. Like, like original Metroid. I beat the Game Boy one. I don't know what the Game Boy one was. That Metroid 2. Oh. It's gonna say Metroid Fusion? That's GBA. Yeah. But, you know, GBA is a Game Boy, so. I beat, uh... Yeah, I beat Metroid 2, Metroid Fusion, pretty much every Metroid except, like, the original. Oh, uh, yeah. Because that one just had, like, nothing to go on. Yeah, that one, you start that one up. It's basically like Legend of Zelda, but Metroid. It's just, like... Legend Open of Zelda, world. both anything, without anything to, uh, like, there's nothing it's, whatsoever it's of... It's open world and super difficult platformer. There's, it's open world, but there's nothing to distinguish where you've been. Yeah, no, that was something I noticed, too, that, like, as I was jumping through, because I started up on my DS, because I had it downloaded yeah. the other day, and it's just, like, towers and towers of doorways, and I was like, oh, God, man, like... Can I go down? Um, nope. It's not like Metroid. <laughs> Guess I hmm. gotta go up there. No. Hmm. Oh, oh, okay. Which attack was that? Uh, my grenade, I guess. Okay. But oh, come on. <laughs> How did I not make that? I don't know. Do you think you can make it next time on Operation Pixel? Uh, no, I can't.